الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين وبعد حمزة يوسف is uh, being promoted as a scholar a truly American scholar a native born truly American scholar with sometimes uh, the views numbering hundreds of thousands and uh, I'm thinking that uh, most of these people are Muslim maybe also not Muslims and uh, this is why we are talking about uh, the understanding of the religion which Hamza Yusuf promotes. Now how, how the media is promoting him uh, is irrelevant because Islam, as Muslims know and submit, is based on the Quran and Sunnah. The only way as in the only way to understand the Quran and the Sunnah is by um, following the understanding of those who lived with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who was re receiving the revelation while uh, alive among them and teaching them the meaning and the practices of the revelation. That's the only way, otherwise uh, anyone can claim any meaning and uh, glue that to the Quran and Sunnah and claim that this is what the Quran and Sunnah mean. When uh, we have the Quran and Sunnah, we have the resources of Islam, uh, and the resources of Islam are all in Arabi, not Arabic, Arabi. And this is the language, we call it Arabi, we don't call it Arabic. Uh, so I want to explain today the understanding of Islam, especially with regards to the creed, because the creed is the foundation. It's the foundation, it's the pillar. The creed that Hamza Yusuf is promoting, and it is very important for us to understand that uh, the number of views, the number of views is irrelevant. Doesn't tell you what's being said is true or not. And this is here an example to uh, the number of views being very few with regards to myself as compared to Hamza Yusuf uh, and others. Uh, but does that mean that what I'm saying is true or false? And what they're saying is true or false? The views don't mean anything. Reminding you that our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has stated that some prophets will go back to Allah on the Day of Judgment, having uh, received the revelation from Allah, promoted the revelation from Allah, and the life came to an end with some of these, these prophets having one, two more followers, even no followers as compared to some of the views that uh, Hamza Yusuf receives, uh, it's unbelievable that a prophet would live among people receiving the revelation with the highest standard of character and telling them about the Creator, about uh, what they know in their hearts is true, and yet they end their uh, prophethood uh, at the time of death, having received no following, like none, like no one, like none. So what's being said is relevant, if it is true or false, or some of this and some of that. Today we'll talk about, we will talk, Allah willing, inshallah, about Hamza Yusuf, and I'm going to read an article that I wrote before, just edited it. And inshallah ta'ala will post the article on my Facebook page. And we have this video on my YouTube uh, channel. Please subscribe. 
to uh, the channel. Uh, my name is Jalal Abu Rub. Uh, for 40 years now, I have been calling to the following of the Quran and Sunnah and the way the companions of Muhammad understood, practiced, pra practiced and taught the Quran and Sunnah. It's the only way to understand the religion and truth. And uh, Allah blessed me and my family to produce close to 60 books so far, including some of the books you see behind me. And uh, some of my books are on my website, islamlife.com, I-S-L-A-M-L-I-F-E.com. And uh, there you will find also uh, some of the videos and uh, many articles, free booklets. Uh, please donate, give us gifts so that we continue this mission. We need to advertise, to expand our uh, viewing <laughs> uh, basis, because uh, it's our job to call to the religion. And uh, I don't mind if uh, uh, a lot of people view my message. If a few people watch my message, like videos or read my articles or books, I it's not gonna affect me because I'm trying to do my job, explaining the religion and defending the religion. We need your help and support. Let's start. Hamza Yusuf, Oneity versus Trinity. I need my glasses for this, and I hope the light is not going to reflect on the glasses. I'll try. Definitions, and we took these uh, definitions from the cambridge.org dictionary online. Monotheism, the belief that it is, there is only one God. Monotheism, mono, one. The belief that there is only one God. Polytheism, belief in many different gods. One a single thing, not two or more. One, a single thing, not two or more. Try is three. Cambridge.org, the dictionary, online, English, conclusion. The belief in more than one God constitutes shirk. Now, this is a term. I would request from you to, remem to remember it, to memorize it, because it is one of the foundations of Islam to understand what shirk is. Conclusion, the belief in more than one God constitutes shirk, i.e. polytheism. And those who have this belief system are mushrikun, shirk, mushrikun, meaning polytheists. The belief in one God constitutes Tawheed, which stands in total contradiction to Shirk. Shirk, Tawheed. Wahid in Arabic is one. The belief in one God constitutes Tawheed, meaning monotheism, and those who have this belief system are Muwahidun. Tawheed, Wahid, Muwahidun, meaning monotheists. Monotheists. Hamza Yusuf says, the Trinity to be fair to the Christians, and I think this is important because there are a lot of Muslims that think that Christians are mushrikun, shirk, mushrikun, the belief in more than one God. He says, and I think this is important because there are a lot of Muslims that think that Christians are mushrikun. And there are statements, I mean Ibn Umar, Ra, R-A-A, Ra. I'm guessing it's Radiya Allahu Anhu, may Allah be pleased with him. Uh, we should put the whole statement, not Ra. I mean Ibn, uh, uh, Ibn Umar said, I can't imagine anything more associative, associative than to say that Allah had a son, that's a statement by Ibn Umar. So 
associative. Uh, you just said mushrikun, use the same word, shirk, associative. Anyway, apparently, this is our answer. Not only a lot of Muslims think that Christians are mushrikun, polytheists, but Allah, the honored, the exalted, subhanahu wa ta'ala, stated in his Quran and his prophet Muhammad, Allah's blessings, mercy, and honor on him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, stated in his sunnah that Christians are indeed mushrikun, meaning polytheists. So it's not only that a lot of Muslims think, they just think that Christians are polytheists, but it's in the Quran and in the Sunnah. Let's go to the text. That's how I do my work. Uh, these books, like for example, among them uh, is uh, the book about Islam in 100 pages. It's behind me. Let me bring it here. It's tough to put it there. Okay. <laughs> Muhammad's role in Islam. It was printed by the Ministry of Islamic Affairs in Kuwait. In it, I put in 100 pages Islam, creed, statements, and action, actions, title, text, Quran and Sunnah, Quran and Sunnah. That's what all what we need. This is what Islam is about. It's not what people think or what people think that other people think. It's about the Quran and Sunnah. And here it is, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the exalted, the honored, said, اتخذوا أحبارهم ورهبانهم أربابا من دون الله والمسيح بن مريم وما أمروا إلا ليعبدوا إلها واحدا لا إله إلا هو سبحانه عما يشركون سورة التوبة آية 31 اتخذوا أحبارهم ورهبانهم أربابا من دون الله والمسيح ابن مريم وما أمروا إلا ليعبدوا إلها واحدا لا إله إلا هو سبحانه عما يشركون They, this is the Quran, Jews and Christians took their rabbis and their monks to be their lords besides Allah and here in reference to the Christians also took as their Lord and Messiah, son of Maryam, Mary, Jesus. While they, meaning Jews and Christians, were commanded, meaning in the Torah, the original Torah, and the Injil, the original gospel that was given to Isa, السلام, they're not the Old Testament or the New Testament. These are the original books. While they, meaning Jews and Christians, were commanded meaning in the Torah and the Injil, to worship none but, but one ilah, God, Allah, ilah, one God, Allah. La ilaha illa huwa, none has the right to be worshipped but he, subhanahu amma yushrikun, praise and glory be to him, Allah, far above the shirk they commit. Allah is the great, Allahu Akbar. You see, shirk, mushrikun, yushrikun, shirk, polytheism. Mushrikun, polytheists. Yushrikun, they associate others with Allah. Associative, he said. Shirk, say shirk. They, Jews and Christians, took their rabbis and their monks to be their lords besides Allah and Messiah, son of Maryam, while they were commanded to worship none but one ilah, la ilaha illa huwa, none has the right to be worshipped but he, subhanahu amma yushrikun, subhanahu, subhanahu, all praise be who? To him, subhanahu, Allah, amma, above, uh, Glory be to him, praise be to him, far above what they 
commit, which is shirk. I mean, I mean, Subhanahu. I mean, those who don't even speak Arabic, those who are not Muslims, can understand shirk. Shirkun, yushrikun. All praise be to Allah. Far above the shirk that they commit. So, let's continue. Here is an, a, a hadith. It's a, a statement reported from the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It's called hadith statement. Hadith is also sentence, hadith, speech. So here we have one of those hadith. Adi ibn Hatim, may Allah be pleased with him, radiyallahu anhu, said that he heard Allah's Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah's blessings and mercy on him, recite this ayah. Ayah means Quranic sentence, a sentence in the Quran about Jews and Christians. They took their rabbis and their monks to be their lords besides Allah. Adi said, I said to the Prophet, we, he was a Christian at the time, we did not worship them, meaning monks. The Prophet وسلم, said, do they not disallow what Allah allowed and you obey them in that and allow what Allah disallowed and you obey them in that? Adi said, I said, yes. The Prophet وسلم, Allah's blessings, mercy and honor on him said, this is worshiping them. This is taking them as lords. Hadith scholars, and uh, they are two of the two major scholars of Islam, Ahmed and, and At-Tirmidhi collected this hadith statement. At-Tirmidhi graded it authentic from the great Hassan. The great Hassan meaning good, acceptable. Uh, the higher grade of authentic hadith is called Sahih. Sahih, Hassan. So Hassan hadiths are authentic. Sahih hadiths are higher in authenticity than Hassan hadiths. Hadiths are in reference to the to the hadiths are in reference to the reports from the prophet's practices, statements, and actions, and reports of his agreeing to practices, statements, and actions. This is a short uh, explanation of hadith and the terms we just mentioned. Note how ayah, meaning Quranic sentence, which is in chapter 9, ayah 31, Allah stated that Christians and Jews were ordered to worship only one ilah, God, before stating that what they did instead is shirk. Shirk. One ilah, shirk. By taking others besides Allah as lords. Furthermore, Allah, the exalted, the, the, the honored, subhanahu wa ta'ala, stated in ayah 931 that for Christians to take Jesus as a Rabb, Arbaban, Arbab, Rabb, Lord, Arbab, Lords, as a Rabb, Lord, besides Allah, constitutes committing shirk. So they took Isa as a Lord. This is shirk. The messenger of Allah Allah's blessings and mercy on him asserted the implication of Ayah 931 by explaining how the Jews and Christians committed the shirk that Allah mentioned in Ayah 931. Adi ibn Abi Hatim was a Christian before he became Muslim. When he became a Muslim, he became one of the companions of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we... Uh, honor all the companions of Muhammad. He was one of the major companions of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And here he is helping us to understand the shirk in the ayah by reporting what the Prophet said about it. You see, Quran and Sunnah, they're connected. They explain each other. So, Adi ibn Hatim, Adi ibn Hatim, Adi ibn Hatim, radiyallahu anh, meaning, may Allah be pleased with him. Now, Hamza Yusuf also says Christians believe God is one. They do not believe God is three. They really do not. They do not believe God is three. He is one, but he is tripart in this mystical, mysterious way, and they will never explain it, and they believe in one God. They are not idolaters. 
they are not idolaters like that. They believe in one God. Eh, okay. Not okay. Here is why. Well, Hamza Yusuf, the Christians are surely not muwahidun. Tawheed, muwahidun. Shirk, mushrikun. The Christians are surely not muwahidun. Monotheists. God, the Holy Ghost, Jesus are not one and surely are not one and the same. Their names do not sound the same. Even Christians call their creed Trinity, not oneity. They, they call the creed Trinity. That's, that's what they live for. Trinity. To continue, Ayah 931 clearly assigns shirk to those who took their rabbis and monks and take also, still take, their rabbis and monks as lords besides Allah, neither idolaters, idols, or idolatry, idolatry, are mentioned in this ayah. So the ayah doesn't mean, mention idols, idolaters, in any way or form in the ayah. It's talking about something else here. They are still mushrikun, however, polytheists, even though the idols are not mentioned here, we know that most Christians, they have idols. They pray to idols, uh, Jesus and Mary. But the ayah is not talking about idols. It's talking about conduct, behavior, which leads to shirk, which is shirk in itself and leads to more shirk, meaning uh, polytheism. They are still mushrikun because what they did is step number one to become mushrikun. They are mushrikun. They will always be mushrikun as long as they take others besides Allah as those who legislate for them in the religion, telling them this is allowed, this is not allowed without permission from Allah. They are still mushrikun, polytheists, because they follow their religious leaders when they legislate, legislate for them without permission from Allah. And uh, what they legislate contradicts Allah's revelations to his prophets, still they follow them. Shirk is, therefore, not only manifested in worship in idols or images, but also includes taken as lords the dead and also living people such as rabbis, monks, and priests. The Jews and Christians still widely practice this shirk to this day. It is shirk. Shirk is not only to have an idol and worship the idol. And maybe this is news to uh, Hamza Yusuf, who used to be a Christian. Uh, most Christians today and throughout their history are Catholic and Orthodox. And they have idols outside their churches, inside their churches. They pray to the image of Jesus, the pictures, the idols. So it's not only they took them as lords, they also completed the shirk, made it perfect <laughs> by worshiping idols. But the ayah is talking about taking others besides Allah as a source of legislation in the religion. That is shirk. Add to that what the Christians have been doing throughout the centuries, then, you know, total shirk. <laughs> Using Hamza Yusuf's preferred terminology, which he mentioned before, and I spoke about that in other articles. Uh, Christians have a true paradoxical, paradoxical formula, paradoxical formula. What's the formula? Paradoxical is the word, word that uh, Hamza Yusuf uses. I don't like this, uh, you know, uh, seemingly uh, exotic and sophisticated, you know, the words. Uh, uh, say the say the word, you know, in a simple way so that everyone understands. So what's the formula? It's a two thousand year formula that uh, has confused Christians and humankind. One plus one plus one equals one. So one plus one plus one equals one. The input is three, 
The output is one, so the Christians tell us. However, even after the claimed triune merger between the three became one, even after the claimed triune merger into one, when Jesus died as Christian dogma tells us, God and the Holy Ghost did not die. So they didn't really merge. Uh, like three went into one, one of the three died, the other two didn't die. Christian dogma tells us that God and the Holy Ghost did not die when Jesus died. It is not possible to describe this Christian stance and belief as they do not believe God is three. He is one, Hamza Yusuf falsely claims. At least one of the three persons in the Triune Council died by separating himself from the other two, or at least from the Holy Ghost. They were together in a unity. One of them died, separated himself from the Holy Ghost. That's what the Christians tell us. Christians tell us that the Holy Ghost gave up Jesus, 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 Isa, meaning abandoned Jesus to crucifixion. <laughs> While God was nowhere to be mentioned in this picture. So Jesus gave up the Holy Ghost. He didn't give up God. And God didn't give up Jesus. So the Holy Ghost gave up Jesus. I don't know what that means. Of course, no one knows what that means. It's a mystery. Christians assign three different names, natures, manifestations, personalities, actions, even fates to each of these three gods. You understand? Very clearly. Christians assign three different names, natures, manifestations, personalities, actions, even fates to each of these three gods, their three gods the falsely claimed three gods. Only Allah is the creator of everything, including the Holy Ghost and Jesus. We seek refuge with Allah from this absolute shirk. Allah stated in the Quran, يَا أَهْلَ الْكِتَابِ لَا تَغْلُوا فِي دِينِكُمْ وَلَا تَقُولُوا عَلَى اللَّهِ إِلَّا الْحَقِّ إِنَّمَا الْمَسِيحُ عِيسَ بْنُ مَرْيَمَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ وَكَلِمَتُهُ وكلمته ألقاها إلى مريم وروح منه فآمنوا بالله ورسله ولا تقولوا ثلاثة انتهوا خيرا لكم إنما الله إله واحد سبحانه أن يكون له ولد له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض وكفى بالله وكيلا لن يستنكف المسيح أن يكون عبدا لله ولا الملائكة المقربون لن يستنكف المسيح أن يكون عبدا لله ولا الملائكة المقربون النساء 171-172 O people of the scripture, Christians, do not exceed the limits in your religion. This is Allah's statement is in the Quran. O people of the scripture, Christians, do not exceed the limits in your religion nor say of Allah art but the truth. The Messiah, Isa, Jesus, son of Maryam, Mary, was a messenger, was no more than a messenger, was a messenger of Allah and his word, was the word be and he was, which he bestowed on Maryam, Mary and a spirit and a spirit, Ruh, created by him, by Allah. So believe in Allah and his messengers Say not three, you see the ayah here? Say not three, three what? Allah says cease, cease. It is better for you, for Allah is the only one ilah. For Allah is one ilah, God. So say not three, three what? Aliha. Allah says cease, don't. Don't say that. It's better for you. For Allah is 
one ilah, meaning the only ilah, the only true God there is. Glory is to him. <clears throat> Far exalted is he above having a son. He didn't have a son. To him belongs or belong all that is in the heavens and all that is in the earth. And Allah is all sufficient as a disposer of affairs. The Messiah will never be proud to reject to be a slave of Allah, nor the angels who are the near to Allah. Chapter 4, Surah, An uh, Surah An Nisa. Chapter 4, Surah An Nisa, Ayah 171, 172. <clears throat> Sorry. So it's the fourth chapter in the Quran, Chapter 4, Surah An Nisa. Ayah statements 171-172. Quranic ayat 4, 171-172 clearly indicate that the dispute with the Christians is about Allah's uluhiyyah or ilahiyyah, meaning Allah being the only true ilah God. So this is the dispute. Don't say three aliyah, Allah is only one ilah. <laughs> Meaning Allah being the only true ilah, meaning God. I don't like to use the word God, but God is what uh, non-Muslims refer to Allah by calling him God. So we use it here so they understand whom we're talking about. It's Allah. Uh, Isa, Jesus alayhi salam, did not say God ever. He said Elohim, Allah. Anyway. So let me read it again. Quranic ayat 4, 171-172 clearly, clearly indicate that the dispute with Christians is about Allah's ilahiyya or uluhiyya, meaning Allah being the only true ilah. Ilah, God, Lord. In contradiction to Trinity. And that by taking Jesus and the Holy Ghost as lords, Christians worship three gods in Trinity. While the Quran says, for Allah is the only one ilah, God, for Allah is one ilah, yet Christians say Allah is three in one and one in three, Trinity meaning three gods. Allah said that. He created them. He knows what the Christians believe in. The whole world knows what the Christians believe in. Christian Trinity assigns lordship, divinity, godship to three distinct distinct gods, Aliha, and Allah contradicts their faith by saying that there is only one true ilah, Allah, alone, without partners, children, or ancestors. Conclusion. Christians say three. Christians are therefore mushrikun. Trinity is pure and absolute shirk. The proof, just read Allah's statements we just mentioned and the hadith from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It is essential for those who seek to know Tawheed, Tawheed, meaning Allah's Islamic monotheism, Tawheed is the flag of Islam. It's the flag of Islam. This is La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah. It's the flag of Islam, the foundation of Islam, the essence of Islam. There is no ilah worthy of worship except Allah and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. So it is essential for those who seek to know Tawheed, which is Allah's Islamic monotheism, to fully understand what shirk stands for, entails, including its forms, methods, creeds, statements, and actions, so as to avoid shirk and abide by Tawheed. Because by knowing the opposite, you know your faith. Your faith is Tawheed, you need to know shirk so that you can avoid shirk and stay and enter into Tawheed and stay on Tawheed. Learning the Islamic faith requires the believers to seek knowledge in the foundations of Tawheed in contradiction to the foundations of Shirk, to be able to abide by Tawheed while at the same time avoiding Shirk. This knowledge is exclusively found in the Quran and Sunnah, as the Prophet's com companions understood all these aspects from the Prophet who taught them directly, personally, all these uh, aspects of Islam practices, creeds, and statements. Before Islam came, Muhammad's companions largely were a community of mushrikun practicing shirk. They were worshiping idols, invoking dead people, 
and they took lords besides Allah and they were idolaters so they were mushrikun they were on shirk before they became Muslim then they became Muslim embraced Tawheed wholeheartedly and were the most uh, um, suitable to understand the difference between what they were on before shirk in contrast to Tawheed Allah's Islamic monotheism so these these people were on shirk had no idea what faith is what belief is the prophets the messengers Muhammad وسلم, was sent by Allah to bring them back to the Tawheed that Isa brought and the Christians almost killed and the Jews of course they they tarnished the image of Isa Jesus uh, greatly so Islam came and taught them Tawheed they were on shirk so they understood fully what it means to be a mushrik as compared to what, to what they freely decided to be muwahidun you see here it's not only a concept that you teach to new muslims to uh, newly born muslims your children your family they lived it they lived it <laughs> i mean who can understand this more than they did knowing tawhid requires knowing shirk and they did through the final and last messenger and prophet from allah who taught them all this directly from allah so we are teaching what they taught us which they learned with the messenger of allah knowing tawhid requires knowing shirk these fundamental aspects of faith should not or lack of or lack of it should not be taken from the false teachers who do not seem to have basic understanding of their own previous religion, for example, Christianity, let alone understanding its perfect opposite, Tawheed, Hamza Yusuf shouldn't be taken as a guide in these matters. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the exalted, said in the Quran, which is uh, chapter 5, surah 5, Al-Ma'idah, uh, and uh, ayah 73 74 so 573 74 laqad kafara alladhina qalu وَيَسْتَغْفِرُونَهُ وَاللَّهُ غَفُورٌ رَحِيمٌ So this ayat, 72, okay, let me correct this here, 73, not 72, 73, 74, 73, one minute. Uh, okay, so Allah in the Quran, chapter 5, Ayat 73-74, ayat plural of ayah. Ayah is one, ayat more than one. لَقَدْ كَفَرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ ثَالِثُ ثَلَاثَةٍ وَمَا مِنْ إِلَاهٍ إِلَّا إِلَاهُ وَاحِدٍ وَإِنْ لَمْ يَنْتَهُوا عَمَّا يَقُولُونَ لَا يَمَسَّنَّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْهُمْ عَذَابٌ أَلِيمٌ أَفَلَا يَتُوبُونَ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَيَسْتَغْفِرُونَهُ Wallahu ghafurun rahim. Surely, disbelievers, kuffar, kufr, shirk, kufr, shirk, polytheism, kufr, disbelief. Surely, disbelievers are those who said Allah is the third of the three in a trinity. But there is only one ilah. There is no ilah except Allah. Surely, disbelievers are those who said Allah is the third of the three. But there is no ilah, God, Lord, none has the right to be worshipped but he, but one ilah, God, Allah. And if they cease not from what they say, uh, verily a painful torment will befall the disbelievers among them. So here another concept, shirk, polytheism, belief in more than one God, tawheed, monotheism, kufr, disbelief. These ayat uh, that we just recited assign kufr, 
disbelief or ayah 573 above assigns kufr disbelief to those who believe in trinity while ayah 931 assigns shirk to those who believe in trinity there is no difference between kufr and shirk in this regard so they're mushrikun they're also kuffar because they commit shirk they commit kufr and allah said that saying allah is three is shirk and saying allah is three is kufr by the way here is a point i want to make uh, one of the evangelicals who was um, uh, arguing with me all the time about these aspects was saying well christians they didn't uh, uh, say that allah is the third in a trinity they said he is the father i said to him the prophets who came before Isa and Isa, Jesus, all said Allah is one. When you come and say, Christians, Isa, Jesus had no idea what you're talking about. He wasn't a mushrik, he was a muwahid. So you come and say, well, here we're adding to the Godhead, they call. We're adding to the Godhead the Holy Trinity. So he became the second. You took away from the rights of the one and only Ilah. Then you brought a third one, Jesus, and you said, ah, here is another one. So you're three and one, one, three. So who lost and became actually the third in a Trinity? Allah, <laughs> God, because they decreased from his authority and claimed falsely that he had partners in triune council who knows 2000 years the christians can't explain what they really believe in for close to 2000 years the world has known the christian faith as being trinitarian in nature the quran states that christians say that allah is the third in the trinity hamza yusuf most surely doesn't have more knowledge about the nature of christianity than allah the all-knower, the almighty. While Allah asserts that Christians call three different gods, Aliha, Hamza Yusuf says, Christians believe God is one. They do not believe God is three. They really do not. They do not believe God is three. This is a false Hamza Yusuf creed that contradicts the clear statements of Allah in the Quran in addition to what Christians themselves have always promoted that their belief system is founded on trinity trinity three three hamza yusuf says that's a statement for ibn umar about someone marrying uh, a woman who's christian and he said i can't think of any more anything more associative shirk bigger than her calling isa allah's son this is shirk. He's responding. He was saying, uh, this is a statement for Ibn Umar. Uh, who's Ibn Umar? He's Abdullah Ibn Umar. One of the most knowledgeable scholars among the companions of Muhammad, Allah's blessings and mercy on him. Abdullah Ibn Umar's statement shouldn't be taken lightly as Hamza Yusuf, Hamza Yusuf does here. Uh, and, you know, that's his way to promote his clear confusion in the creed. He came from a confused Christian who didn't really know who the Lord is to becoming a confused Muslim who doesn't think that Trinity is uh, polytheism when it mentions three. Who should we believe the statements of Allah and his messenger and then Abdullah ibn Umar or the false claim made here by an ignorant scholar, Hamza Yusuf? Shirk refers to taking others as gods or lords besides Allah, as clearly indicated in Ayah 931, 931, as well as its explanation found in the Prophet's statement. Sorry, in the Prophet's statement to Adi ibn Hatim. By definition, those who believe in multiple gods are mushrikun. Christians believe that one plus one plus one equals one. 
they state that God is one in three and three in one. Yet, they clearly acknowledge the fact that one plus one plus one actually equals three. In that there are three different persons incorporated into the Godhead. Christians call this creed Trinity. They confirm that their creed is based on three gods, Trinity. Let's be clear. Christians worship an angel, the Holy Ghost, who they appointed as being God. Also, Christians worship a human being like them, Jesus, who to them is also God, but who used to eat, sleep, and answer the call of nature, and who was later crucified by the Jews. The Bible says that. The New Testament, according to Christians and Jews, uh, the Jews killed God, their God. They falsely claimed God. How can this possibly not be shirk? The Christians invoke Jesus and the Holy Ghost for their needs and for forgiveness and mercy. The Christians pray to Jesus and his mother and also for the Holy Ghost. The Christians claim to work miracles in the name of Jesus and the Holy Ghost. What is left then of Allah's exclusive rights, the rights of Tawheed? being the one and only Ilah, God, Lord, who alone deserves to be worshipped, invoked, and sought for all types of needs, help, aid, forgiveness, and mercy. Allah called the Christians uh, and their creed Mushrikun and Shirk. Allah called the mush Christian creed Shirk, and therefore the Christians are Mushrikun. Allah called the Christian creed Shirk, polytheism, and Kufr, disbelief, so too and asserted that Trinity contrasts to Tawheed, which is based on taking Allah alone without partners, sons, or equals, as the only deity, deity worthy of worship. I'm going to mention a part of one of my books, uh, uh, Christian Muslim uh, Dialogue, page 50, 51. You will find this book on my website, islamlife.com, islamlife.com, I-S-L-A-M-L-I-F-E.com. And uh, there you'll find uh, discussions about Trinity as compared to Tawheed and uh, Shirk to Tawheed. Uh, please, uh, if, if you can't afford the $3.99 price for the PDF, send me a message. I'll send it to you for free. To continue, Trinity, this is from the book, page 5051. Trinity Godhead is ever confusing. Here, we allegedly have one God but three persons. They are united in divine nature and qualities, but divided in action and even fate. For instance, the job of the Father is different from the job of the Son and the Holy Ghost. Christians assign to each of these personalities different roles, decisions, actions, pers uh, presence, and consequences of actions and decisions. To explain, the Son God is the one who transformed into a man who lived a human life. This description is not given to the Father or the Holy Ghost because they did not incarnate as the Son did, when allegedly did. When the Son died, he gave up the Holy Ghost, not the Father. If Christians were asked about who among the three became a man, they will not say it was the Father or the Holy Ghost. They will say only the Son. If Christians are asked about who gave up the other, the Holy Ghost or Jesus, they will not say it was the Holy Ghost, but Jesus. Therefore, Trinitarian Christians assign different roles and different actions to each member of the Triune Council. Yes, uh, sorry, yet they somehow consider the three to be in perfect harmony, then claim that it has to be stated emphat uh, emphatically. Uh, that this is one of the Christian... Uh, Evangelicals who was responding to me. Uh, he stopped for years now, but anyway. But they, Christian, they, after all this, they then claim that it has to be stated emphatically that Christians do not worship three gods, but one God. However, Christians worship three divine beings, three different partners, three different personalities, three different manifestations, i.e. three different gods. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us knowledge in the religion. I encourage you, you want to learn Islam, 
learn Islam from true scholars of the religion, not fake scholars who went from being confused in Christianity to being confused in Islam, shirk and tawheed. These are the foundations of uh, the message that was sent to all of Allah's prophets, including Jesus and of course Muhammad and all the prophets who came before them. Uh, you need someone who knows these aspects to learn from. Uh, Islam will prevail. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.